Good morning guys, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in beautiful, if a little bit cold. We have beautiful blue skies, you can't see them, but it's a little bit chilly, but it's nice. And look, winter PJs, I love winter PJs. Anyway, today we're going to hit these girls, let's have a look. up yesterday <coughs> from Facebook marketplace oh my voice is weak today um I've got a uh, draw <coughs> lobe oh, geez come on speak race uh, tall boy over there to match I'm not gonna do them to match though never do right these are pretty big girls uh, so they are bedsides but geez you'd need a pretty big bed to go alongside them I'm not joking top right this one can be so could be sanded back just fine it's got a fair bit of damage <clears throat> but that's just on the finish so that's not really an issue let's have a look at the back oh this my voice is going to be fun today okay <clears throat> so it's solid wood it may be that this piece here is a veneer piece not really any way of knowing doesn't really matter it looks like it's solid wood everywhere there's paneling on the back a um, little bit of meal, mildew on this, it needs a good clean. Uh, <clears throat> but on this one, it's got a little bit of damage or it's been hit. Um, I could probably sand it out, but there is a risk that it is veneer. And if it is veneer, then I'm just going to end up sanding through. So what I'm going to do is fill that. I'm going to paint the whole piece. Which I very rarely do, but that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get set up, get these drawer pulls off, and see what we're going to use. Been made on the products. I'm wearing my new apron. I know it's back to front, but it says Ligna colour. So let's have a look at the products. I'm going to be filming this on my phone because I can't find the SD card for my camera. So I'm going to get this set up. So I'll show you all the products now because when I'm showing you them later, the phone will be in selfie mode and they'll be back to front. So that's what would be helpful. So I'll just show you them now. Right, so I'm going with lid to color Spanish. Uh, is that gray, do you think? G-R-A-U. Let's say it is. I've got a 100 mil pot. I've also got a 375 mil pot, but I want to see if I can do these two big bedsides in just 100 mil. I did a, the um, low boy in 100 mil last time, so I should be able to, but... I've got a backup just in case. Right, and then I'm using my Lignicolor uh, flat brush. That's a 60mm flat brush and a 50mm round brush and then multi-seal top coat. So that's all I need on this in terms of uh, painting and finish, just these two. But I'm not going to be waxing. I'm not going to be staining. I'm not going to be putting a separate top coat. So those are the main products. So all I'm going to do now is get some wood filler and fill in these bits. And then give it a sand and a clean, and then we're right to get started. and cleaned and now I'm good to go oh I haven't taken the drawers out I always take the drawers out usually before I clean actually so I'll probably have to give those another little go over just to make sure that these areas are good so I need to do that um, and I've just checked with Christina from Ligna Colour and it's called Spanish Grey in English Ligna Colour is a, um, a German-based company, or originates in Germany, and then it's sold by stockists, um, certainly in Australia and across Europe, I'm not sure where else. So I'm trying to do these in 100ml, 
it's like a um, grey sage is what I would put it as really nice so it's really thick oh I need to get my spritzer bottle I don't think I'll use it I didn't last time if I remember rightly and I'm using my um, 50 mil round brush let me just get my spritzer, spritzer bottle So he is hoping I can do this with 100 mil. I think I will, but these are big bedsides. Oh, that's too much. You don't need much on your brush. Oh, I love this paint. I'm not going to lie. I love it. If I've got enough with these, because it's solid wood on the back, I'm actually going to paint the back as well. But I'll leave that until the last just to make sure that I've got enough paint. I don't want to paint the back just for the sake of it, if it's going to mean that I have to go into my next tub because it's not necessary. Especially in that corner. These bedsides are lovely. Got them off um, Facebook Marketplace. I paid $50 for this, these two and the matching drawers. But like I said, I really, very rarely paint a set. What I will generally do is paint these, advertise these, and then let the buyer know that I've got the set, the, the matching drawers, if in case they want me to paint them to match. Otherwise, I just treat them as two completely different projects. I get bored too easily doing the same thing over and over again. This is lovely. It's similar. <coughs> excuse me really similar coverage to the olive that I used. I'd say this is going to be a two, <coughs> my throat's not great today, um, a two coat job, which is great. Maybe two and a half. But um, it's really lovely. It's really nice grey. So what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll do one coat um, wait for that to dry, then do a second coat, and then I'll give it um, a really s smooth sand. Literally just taking the, I want to make a word up now, the nubbins off. I'm sure that there's a real word, but just taking any roughness off. When you first feel it, you'll think that it doesn't need it. But when you do it, you realise the difference. It just goes really buttery soft. It did last time I didn't use this paint anyway. I think we're going to be just fine with 100 mil. I'll be devastated if we're not though, because, you know, I like to set myself these little tests. Bailey, can you stop sniffing next door, please? Come away now. Come away. Bailey. She's constantly at the, at the fence sniffing next door's dog. The dog's quite new there, so she's not used to having a dog next door. She's constantly trying to get to it. I don't know why. This is a lovely colour. So like I said, it looked like a sage grey in the jar. When it's on now, it's looking like a grey. But um, we'll see what it's like when it's dry. Because very often with these, <coughs> my voice is going to get on my nerves today. Let me just get my baby. Oh. She almost knocked my phone over then. <coughs> yeah, my voice is difficult today. It just gets like this sometimes. Since I... <coughs> So I had my thyroid removed and they cut my vocal cord nerve. I've mentioned it before. Um, it, my voice just isn't as strong as it used to be. And so uh, it goes crackly and that coupled with anxiety really doesn't make for a great voice. Well, I'm not anxious today. So this cloth that I just <coughs> used has already got cleaner on. on. Um, so I'll just wait for that to dry a little bit and get stuck in. Right, so I'll get on with this. I'll come back 
when I'm putting the second coat on and then we'll see if we've got full coverage. Right, it's going in with the second coat and I've used more than half. Not much more than half, but I've definitely used more than half. Um, it's still pretty good considering these are huge bedsides and I've painted the tops. They haven't been sanded. But I reckon I'm going to be good to go because the second coat will use less paint. At this point, I haven't painted the backs. If, um, if I do have any paint left over at the end, what I'll do is add a bit of water so it goes a little bit further. And then um, do the backs. And I think I'll be right to do that. I could just add some water to it now, just to make sure that it that I get the coverage, but I don't want to. I want to see if I do without having to do that. Because I like setting myself these little tests. Well, the thing is, if you can get a bed, a, a huge set of bedsides done in just a hundred mil, and you can buy them in a hundred mil pots. That's really good because that saves you having partially used pots in there in the shed. Which you might actually know, my shed's full of it. Well, it was, I had a big clear out yesterday of, um, of all my paints, and I'm posting a few out to some friends that will make use of them on smaller projects. So um, it's not going to go to waste. This is beautiful colour. Bailey, do not hit my phone over. The stand this is on is really flimsy too. I need to go out and invest in some good in a good um, tripod for my phone and. Um, Maybe a ring light or something. It's going to start getting darker now, eh? See, I'm putting... Let me just show you how much I'm putting on my brush. Literally, I'm just... See the wet area there? I'm putting next to nothing on. It really doesn't need much. And I'm, and I'm getting full coverage now. My new trolleys I made with... them. Um, no, that's a lie. I didn't make them. Gray made them. Harper, come away from my phone. If you knock that over, you're going to be in trouble. Don't grumble at me. What do you want? Um, yeah, I didn't make them. Gray made them. Um, a pack of four casters with two of them on with locks from Bunnings for $10.90. Got a few more new bustonies again now because I mine a lot of them got perished in weather because pretty much that's mainly what I use them for is to keep them up off the ground so that they don't get affected by weather because they don't get rained on or anything but in this in my work area the, the floor was still getting wet for a big storm so it's more about keeping them off the ground than it is making them movable movable is that another one of my words transportable yeah i'm using next to no paint on my brush this this time the second coat always takes less because all you're really doing is filling in the areas that the first coat didn't cover really definitely don't need to load your brush with much. Do you reckon Habs? Can you see her? I've got a lot of furniture here today so they don't have much room to walk around me so they're getting frustrated. I picked up, um, well, I picked up a buffet from the tip on Saturday. My husband made the mistake of asking me if I wanted to go for a drive to the skip with him. As soon as, I got, as soon as I pulled up, it was my first time there. 
as soon as I pulled up, I was off. And I saw, I had to, I had to dig around, but I got this buffet out of the, out of all the rubble. It needs the top reattaching properly, just a bit of glue. And it needs a back panel, which I did get one from the tip. But it's not the best, so I'll probably just go in to get them to cut me one. Harper, can you go away? That phone, that tripod's probably going to take take a dive in a minute. Come on, Harps. Go away now. Oh, just go and lie down somewhere. That's it. Yeah, so I've got the buffet. I've got a chest of drawers that we're in the middle of fixing. I've got a TV unit that... I know I said I don't do commissions, but this one is from a past customer for her friend. And um, it's not really, it's, it's a piece of furniture that I sourced for her. Um, and she just wants it the same as the last TV unit I did. Which is again a reason, another reason I don't do commissions, because that is generally how it goes. They see something they like and they want you to replicate it. I just don't like doing the same thing twice. This is a lovely colour. What do you think? Do you like it? It's in full coverage, isn't it? Here's Harper again, wandering around. Right, I'll carry on get, getting these done and I'll show you at the end how I'm going with the paint. I'm pretty confident that we're going to be good, but it's the tops that take the more paint. I don't know why that is always the case, but it is. When you do tops, they suck up the paint for some reason. So when I've got these two coats on, I'll come back and show you how much paint I've got. And then I need to sand. Okay, two coats down. And I have wiped this girl clean, but they're done. I haven't done the backs. You can see I haven't done the backs. They didn't need to be done. Oh, I can see a leg. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, rage. Oh, I can see I've done it over there as well. Come on. That'll do it. Okay. So that's two huge bedsides and the tops. So um, I never usually paint the tops. Like I say, the paint, the tops you take a lot of paint. For what reason, I don't know. It's not that they've got, that they're sucking it up more. I, I suppose it's just a big area that you don't um, anticipate. So for two huge bedsides, 100 mil pot, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab something to eat and a drink and I'll come back, give these a light sand and then we'll get the top coat on. Right, um, I've just been talking to myself for about 20 minutes, got to be honest, using this um, phone camera is uh, something for me to get used to. Anyway, I haven't sanded, I, I touched it, it's a buttery smooth, I don't feel the need to do it, plus I don't have any uh, 500 or 600 grit sandpaper, which is what I like to use when I'm sanding the final coat. But I don't feel I need it, so we're just going to go without it. I'm using the flies get on my nerves. I'm using the Lignicolor 30 mil brush, flat brush. I originally was going to use the 600, but all these areas you see they're all about this width, so it just makes sense. It makes it e it's easier. You don't get so many drips if you use the same size brush. So, I'm going to go on and do this. You can see areas I've missed there. Oh, flies are getting on my nerves today. Yeah, so this, this top coat, like I said, I've just been talking to myself for half hours. So I don't know what I've said and what you've heard, <laughs> what was recorded and what wasn't. So it self-levels really well. It's called the Multi-Seal Clear Top Coat. And it's a semi-gloss finish. I don't think it says that on the tin, but I, I read somewhere that it's a semi-gloss finish. 
which I really like. I'm not a fan of matte finishes. I usually go for satin, um, but this I really like and it self levels well that I haven't seen elsewhere. So that's good. So I'm gonna carry on doing this now and I'll come back when that's all done. And then I just need to get the draw pulls on and they're finished. And it's about 12 o'clock, something like that. And um, that's my work done for the day, really. Probably not, I'll probably start on another job, but anyway, okay. Here they are guys, all done. Jeez, they're big bedsides. I'm going to struggle to advertise these as bedsides. Let me see how, how tall they are. They come up to my hip and I'm five foot seven. Um, I love them. I wish I had a big house. These are way too big for my bedroom. Plus I kept the last lot, so, you know, I've got so much furniture at the moment and dogs. So here she is, Spanish Grey, Ligna Colour Spanish Grey with Ligna Colour Multi-Seal Semi-Gloss Finish. Draw pulls are from, from Rinkit. They were $1.95 each. Um, I got the paint direct from the Ling Ligna Colour website, Ligna Colour Australia. Oh, sorry, Harps. Yeah, I love them. And 100 mil. It was tight, it was very tight because I did the tops as well, but 100 mil for bedsides that size is bloody good. What do you think, Habs? So, I'm going to get some photos. Ooh. I need to go to the post office. Do I need to get dressed? I've got my Lignicolor apron on and still got my winter PJs on. I'll be right, eh? <laughs> okay, I'll get some photos. Like, comment, subscribe, come back. For more, thank you for watching. Love you to bits. Take care, guys. Have a great day.